Well, lawmakers are moving forward with new requirements for defibrillators in schools. As CBS 4's Kristen Eskow shows us now, the bill has made more progress this year than it has in the past. The bill was first introduced last year. It passed in the Senate, but didn't get a hearing in the House. This year, however, it's a different story. It was approved by a House committee for the first time this week. He was the glue that kept his siblings, his younger brother and his older sister together. Teresa Mago's 17 year old son, Zach, played basketball every day. He died in 2018 while taking a nap. His mother says he never showed any signs of having an enlarged heart. One in 300 children has a heart and an undetected heart abnormality. Since Zach's death, Mago launched a foundation to raise awareness about heart health in young Hoosiers. She's been advocating for a bill at the state house that adds new defibrillator requirements for all schools. I think what really pushed this to the forefront is when DeMar Hamlin um, collapsed on the field. State Senator Linda Rogers has been pushing for the legislation as well. Her bill requires AEDs to be located near all school athletic events and near any other activities like theater practice that could put people at higher risk of cardiac arrest. It also requires school staff members to develop a response plan and perform drills. Many schools already have AEDs and so it's just, you know, making sure there's that site specific plan that people know what to do. What the bill requires is a minimum step. Tanya Arts teaches biomedical science and CPR to teenagers. She wants to see schools go even further than what's required in the bill. I've had 300 students stay after school to become CPR certified. So that tells me they want, they want to be empowered to help someone. The bill received unanimous support in the Senate and near unanimous approval by the House committee this week. It now heads to the House floor. Kristen Escow, CBS 4 News. Kristen, thank you.